These are mutations. You get a new idea, that's a mutation. A mental mutation. New idea, too, spins off out of the... Hmm. Ambiguity associated with language. Not only language is interacting with one another, you know how they say, well, the structure of this language really doesn't allow you to put it in the same context in a new language. Also, within a language, you've got ambiguity. Is that bad? No, it's good. Because you didn't have ambiguity, it means we have everything figured out. We couldn't learn anything new. The ambiguity then permits new ideas. The ambiguity helps to make adjustments, to adapt, to adjust to the world. Not necessarily bad. Can be. And then novelty, we talked about that. Those things are there. Those are inherent in our various way we do business world, our mental processes, etc. Therefore, next chart. What am I getting at? The underlying message is very simple then. There is no way out unless we can eliminate the features just cited. Well, problem though, we don't know how to do this. Since we don't know how to do this, the world. Reorientation, mismatch, analysis, senses over and over again added times based on comprehend, shape, and adapt. The unfolding, evolving reality that remains uncertain, ever changing, unpredictable. That's the way it is, guys. Sorry. And this stuff is very recent kind of stuff. This is stuff that's come out in the 20th century. This is not the stuff that Newton and those guys found out. Very recent stuff. That's why I asked you about it in the beginning. Mary said, who's Girdle? Hardly anybody knew. Eisenberg, if you knew about it. Chayton, I didn't mention him. That's why. Next chart. So now we're getting down to it. Now, if we cannot connect this continuing world with all this stuff we talked about up there, we can see that we have, what, a conceptual spiral for exploration, discovery, innovation, thinking, doing, achieving, learning, unlearning, relearning. That third one's very important. You've got to learn how to unlearn, too. If you keep some ideas in there, that inhibits your ability to go and arise to a new state. In other words, it'll keep you from making snowmobiles or adapting to new conditions. And people that can't unlearn, we call them dinosaurs, because they can't relearn. Comprehending, shaping, and adapting. Hence, a conceptual spark for what I call insight, imagination, initiative. Next chart. We're about done. Which raises the question, can we survive and grow without these abilities? Next chart. I think it's very clear. Next chart. One word. No. Period. Next chart. Which suggests then the conceptual spirals we probably presented it here is a paradigm for survival and growth. That's exactly right. right. What I'm really showing you is the answers aren't as neat as a lot of people would like to make, make it out to be. Not that way. We tried it. We don't know how to do it. Period. Next chart. My last chart, too. So that's my point. Final point the presentation. I'm sorry. See, if you lose, you're losing the game of survival and growth. The name of the game is to survive and grow. It impacts us in many different dimensions. So this is not just military. We're talking about this is living or dying or advancing or decaying. That's what we're talking about. This is, this is the game, the real game. Any questions?